When you install OpenTunes, it will create a OpenTunes 1.0 stuff directory, and this directory will contain everything that is required for OpenTunes to run properly. Within this, we will have the profiles directory, and with that, in that we will have the layouts directory, and then you will have a directory with your user's name, in which you will have these various options over here. You'll have layouts and room files. Now these can be added manually, but in the latest build of OpenTunes, we can edit them in the interface. Okay, so here we have the default setup for OpenTunes. Um, the default setup is essentially a production setup for Studio Ghibli, which means it's not necessarily the easiest thing to come into if you are entering the package for the first time. Um, what you can do now is you can actually modify the rooms if you right click over here. So if I right click over here and say new room, I can now create my own rooms. What's more is right clicking on this room will allow me to customize the menu bar. Personally I prefer the default menu bar but you can choose to lay out all the menu items through this menu over here and choose exactly how they will be laid out. Now I'm just going to set up my room. I'm um, just going to start by opening a couple of windows. Um, put in an X sheet. We will put in our combo viewer. Now what you'll see is when it is maximized, I can't necessarily dock the windows where I want them to. If I minimize it a little bit, I can now dock what I want to more easily. Um, just So what I've added is the X sheet, which is where I will organize all my animation, the level strip, which is where I will organize the individual drawings, and the level palette, where I will control the colors which I work with. Now, if we take a look at the level strip, we will see that we have rather large images over here. If I was to draw, we'll see that it's rather large, and I'm going to change that. And I'm going to change it by going to File, Preferences, and then on Interface over here, we will see Icon Size 160 by 120. And I'm going to change that, but I am going to change it to very specific figures. So most of what I'm going to be working with will be in your standard HD aspect ratio. So what I'm going to do with my level strip is I'm going to make the aspect ratio of my level st strip match the aspect ratio of my final output so I will get a more 
accurate feedback of what is in my drawings when I'm referring to the level strip. Um, so with, with film, you have a number of aspect ratios. You have 4 over 3, which is not that commonly used anymore, but was the standard for television and for computer monitors for the best bit of around about 30 years. Then you have 16 over 9. This is HD. This is what most computer monitors are going to be, um, and it is going to be a reasonably common format. Then you have 1.85, which is an American cinema format. So if you are making a feature film, it is one of your formats which you'll use. And you then have 2.35 or 2.39. Which is your other widescreen cinema format. Now, since most of what I'm going to be doing is not going to be cinema format, I'm going to be using standard HD. And in order to make my level strip match an HD format, I'm basically going to use that aspect ratio, which mathematically would come out more or less at 1.777777 um, where 4, 4 over 3 would come out as 1.333 Now, if I go back to my preferences here what I will do is I will change the width to be 60 and I will change the height to be 106, which is what you'll get if you multiply 60 by 1.77777. Um, and that will take hold the next time I open Open Tunes. Now that I've reopened Open Tunes, I now have my level strips as a different size and they will match the aspect ratio which I'm going to be working in which is 1920 by 1080.